The National Institute for Hospitality and Tourism on Saturday in Abuja held the third edition of Gastronomy Festival, which saw countries like the People's Republic of China, Senegal and Côte d'Ivoire showcase their local meals alongside Nigerian dishes. The Director General Alhaji Nura Kangiwa said the event was targeted at cultural exchange and skill upgrading by bringing multiple stakeholders together at one location. He commended the participants and called on tourism sector to unnest the opportunities of food production and preparation. Here's more on the happenings at the festival. Gastronomy is the practice or art of choosing, cooking and eating good food. On Saturday in Abuja, the National Institute for Hospitality and Tourism, Nihoto, held the third edition of Gastronomy Festival, hosting other countries including the People's Republic of China, Senegal and Côte d'Ivoire to share their food culture with Nigerians who were represented across all geopolitical zones. Speaking with the journalist at the event, the Director General of Nihoto, Alaji Nura Kangiwa, said the event would encourage more tourism both within and outside the country. The gastronomy event you know, is aimed at bringing stakeholders you know, to one, under one umbrella to showcase their strength and by being with other uh, stronger ones, the weaker ones will be able to see what they lack, the skills they lack, and try to bridge them up. Yes, so it's all about skills bridging and uh, uh, unfolding one's full potentials. Apart from the food, definitely you know there are linkages with the culture in so many ways. And it encourages one from here to try and maybe Gastronomy now is the leading uh, tourism trend because a lot of people now will want to go and sample foods they have tasted here where they are originally made. Like if you have tasted Amala here, you will want to taste the real Amala in the Southwest, how it's been prepared. So that's how it encourages tourism, how it, 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 it bridges uh, cultural differences. A cultural counselor to the Chinese embassy, Li Juda, said that festivals of food were sure to strengthen ties between nations. Uh, it's very happy to have meals from different places, different countries. Like Nigeria, you have 36 states and FCT. And I think each state and FCT, they have their own food. They have their unique culture, food culture. And through co-hosting this kind of opportunity event. Many people can stay together, work together, share food together. Their friendship can be strengthened and the mutual understanding really can be further improved. In his remarks, Professor Sunday Ododo stated that the festival would increase tourism and subsequent monetary gains. We are happy with Naihoto because they have been consistent with this tradition bringing a harvest of culinary tradition across the globe to Nigeria. So this way, you have access to food items of other countries without even traveling there. So it's a huge advantage to all of us. You know how much it will cost you to go to China and come back? But the food is China is right here. You test it, you like it, then you struggle to go to China. And so Chinese people and other country uh, citizens are also here. And uh, 
whatever they find very, very interesting in terms of uh, cuisines, they should go after it. So this will now promote uh, more production of not just the raw material, of the food itself. That way, tourism is also expanding. The theme of the festival was culinary arts, the gateway to growing tourism destination.